one of the person create a very useful expense report using power bi with complex formula but in this video i'm going to show you how to create similar report using microsoft excel with only pivot table and conditional formatting if i click on expand button this will show subcategory and their percentage of grand total along with the data bars if i want further detail i just need to click living expense for example and it will show person of grand total of living expenses and also show person of parent total if i again click on expand collapse button and i just right click expand collapse expand entire field and this will expand all of the data sheet if i want to expand all of the category i just need to click anywhere right click expand collapse expand entire field so how we create this amazing expense report using pivot table and conditional formatting in this video i'm going to show you each and everything consider we have this dummy data sheet first column is expense type type 1 type 2 type 3 and these are the category and the third column is subcategory and the last column is the amount first thing i just need to click here hit ctrl a key to select all of the data sheet hit ctrl t to convert the data into a table just hit ok and now click on insert pivot table new worksheet hit ok first i need to drag the expense type on a rows field next i will drag category field next i will drag subcategory field and amount field will be dragged on video box but in this case i will drag amount field five times now if you want the same color as i show you on my intro you just need to go color so you just need to select blue green and hit ok and now if you go to design expand the style and i will just select the dark blue out the next thing i will off the subtotal so i just need to click on subtotal and do not show subtotals the next thing i will update the heading name so first heading will be expense type next heading will be total amount percent or grand total this column i will just rename as a blank so i will just type one space hit tape key to move to the next column percent of parent total and this i will rename as a double space so i just need to type space one time and two time hit ok now i will convert this column into currency so you don't need to select column like this one you just need to select single value right click don't format cell click on number format click on currency set decimal place to zero hit ok and this will convert the whole column into a currency format click on this column right click show value is percent of grand total and this will calculate the percentage based on grand total amount now right click on column d show value as percent of grand total now we just need to calculate parent total so we just need to click on column e right click show value as percent of parent total in this case i will select category column since the first one expense type second category and then the last one is subcategory but in this case i want to calculate parent total based on category i will just hit ok and this will calculate the percentage based on these amount so you can see these are the parent total based on these total amount and of course i will do the same for column f as well right click Make sure value is person of parent total category hit ok now i will click pivot table analyze tab click on option in this case i will just uncheck auto fit column width on update hit ok now we need to apply conditional format the first conditional formatting i will apply on percent of parent total so i will just select any cell on column d go to home conditional formatting data bar in this case i will select let's say red data bar and you can see a small pivot table icon you just need to click on them and we apply all cell showing percent of value for subcategory so you just need to hit ok and this will calculate the percentage for subcategory now we need to apply conditional formatting on parent total as well so we just need to click here conditional formatting data bars and i will apply the same red data bar here and a small icon will be appear you just need to click all cell showing space value for subcategory so just hit ok and this will apply conditional formatting on this one now if i collapse this field for example we need to apply conditional formatting here as well so just click conditional formatting data bar and i will choose the green data bar click on formatting option and apply all value showing for category and you can see conditional formatting only apply on, on category and now if i collapse this field we need to apply conditional formatting here as well so i will click here again conditional formatting data bar and i will apply the yellow data bar in this case click on formatting options i'll still showing 
value for expense type and now we have successfully applied our data point so if i expand this only show the green if i expand the category it only show the subcategory data path now i need to apply conditional formatting whenever i see 100 because these are making confusion so what i need to do click here go to conditional formatting in this case whenever the value equal to 100 percent and for now i will just select red text hit okay later i will format this data set and i will click all cell showing person of parent total value for category and this become right later i will format this data set to hide those value click on any cell go on column f go to conditional formatting highlight rule equal to 100 percent and i will choose red text for now hit ok apply all seal showing for category now i need to do a little bit formatting with my conditional formatting so i will select all of the pivot table go to conditional formatting manage rule and first i will click here edit rule in this case go to format font color i will choose the same as background color hit ok hit ok apply and i will do the same for the next one for the data bar if i click on the data bar edit in this case i only want to show bar and hide the value for the minimum value i will choose number and i will also choose number here minimum will be zero max will be one hit ok apply and i will do the same for the rest as well show only bar number and this become one hit ok edit rule number number one hit ok edit another rule show only bar number number and max will be one hit ok apply and hit ok now if i expand the subcategory it will only show the bar the next very important thing we just need to increase the width of the both column so i just select this column and column f using control key and i will increase the width of both columns so in this case if i increase the width of column f the column d will automatically change since i select both column so i think this much is enough to show our report now our report is almost ready if i collapse all of the heading it show green if i collapse this one this will show yellow bar if i right click expand entire field this will only show the category and if i click here expand entire this will show subcategory details in last i will show you how to use this template for your own data set so for example i have this data set on my sheet what i need to do what i need to do i just need to go data set select all of the data Control shift down arrow key hit delete key to delete all of the data set go to your own data set select all of your data set Control c to copy go to data set right click paste as a value go to dashboard sheet right click refresh and this will update the dashboard with your own data sit i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel for more video and if you have anything in mind please write in comment thank you so much